this is what it means to be an urban knight. Congratulations. Yep, thank yeah. Thank you. All right, here with the heroes of the Urban Knights kick off into the NCAA, Sebastian Zuniga and Grimmer Grimson. Um, you guys just finished off the 2-1 victory over San Francisco State tonight here under the lights at Kizar Stadium. Um, can you uh, just basically talk about that last goal and kind of the connection that you guys had? Maybe each talk a little about, about your role. Uh, okay, so, uh, so I got the belt wide and I uh, had one guy marking me, so... I just decided to take him on, and I knew someone was going to be in there, so I just picked my head up, saw, I didn't even see who was there, I just saw a black little spot, hit it there, and Grimmer happened to be yeah. there, and there he was. I was lucky once again, <laughs> but it was a team effort, yeah. so everybody was working hard, you know, who scores the goals doesn't really matter, but the team worked really hard, we've been working hard, you know, for three or four weeks, and it, now it's coming, you know. Can you, can you talk a little bit about kind of the fight in this match and you know playing one to one for so long? Those goals came early. Um, just kind of your guys' overall mentality, trying to stay with it. Yeah, well, well during halftime, my coach Sam did a great job of keeping us focused because it's not that hard when you know you got like 500 plus people watching. You know, it's not that easy. But uh, we stayed composed. We kept fighting and uh, tried to block out everything else. And uh, we just stayed composed. And at the end, we we got it for for being composed throughout the whole game. Yeah, the team. Like fought together and just it worked out in the end. Sometimes it does and sometimes it doesn't, so it did. And just lastly, can you talk about the atmosphere here tonight? Um, playing in front of, like you said, Sebastian, a whole horde of people, a, whole, a bunch of Urban Knights fans cheering you guys on. And uh, of course the President Stevens as well being in attendance. Yeah, it was wonderful. Hopefully these people will come again to our games and it will happen again. Yeah, it was a great team effort, and uh, as a freshman, you know, I, I was, before the game, I didn't know what to do with myself. I was, I was my heart was racing, but uh, my teammates really helped me. You know, like Grimmer said, it's not just an individual effort. You know, I was trembling before the game started, but, you know, once the game started going, and these guys helped, uh, picked up some of my slack, and uh, it was a team effort, and we'd like to thank everyone uh, who came out today. All right. Go Uber Knights! Yep, We're here with nice. men's soccer head coach Daniel Rosaya after a thrilling 2-1 victory over San Francisco State under the lights at Kizar Stadium. Uh, Coach, talk a little bit about how that last play unfolded and kind of the, the fight that these guys had to, to hang in there and win this match. Well, I'm going to start where it started from. The team's been working hard. We've been a little bit unlucky. We know we've, we've had some, some results go against us. Tonight, our plan was to work hard for 90 minutes. So you, at 38, minutes, eight, 38 seconds left, uh, they take the ball down the wing, crosses it to number eight, and he finishes like he always does for us. So it was a team effort tonight from the first guy to the last all the way. And just uh, maybe talk a little bit about the atmosphere here, playing in front of a huge crowd and how that kind of jolted the guys to really make it this far? Yeah, definitely. You know, San Francisco State's going to be a rival of ours. We're probably going to play them in the spring and every year. Colin Preston put on a huge, huge event tonight. Huge. So we wanted to come out and impress our fans. Hopefully they'll keep coming to the games. And I think the guys did impress it. And let me tell you, Victor Benavides, Kier Lacrosse, and my other assistant coach, Vimy Sensen, all had a big play in tonight's win. They all had a big play. And lastly, you uh, talked to, to the president at the end of the match. The, the team went out and thanked her. Um, can you just talk a little about the support that you guys had from her tonight? Yeah, listen, I'm, I'm the first coach ever hired at the Academy of Art. So the president and I go way back six years. She hired, of course, Dr. Williams, who brought me in. So she understands how much this program means to me. I'm, I'm like the last of the Mohicans here. And I, and I told her tonight I wanted to be here until I was 80. She told me I'd be here until I was 90. So I'm very excited about this year. We're going to get better and better as the year goes on.